What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 30 minute upper body tone and shred workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 30 minute upper body workout. We're gonna be targeting the chest, the back, the shoulders, and the biceps and triceps. So all muscles in the upper body and we're using dumbbells today. So I've got a big range of dumbbells and I'll tell you why as soon as I tell you the numbers. I've got five, eight, 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells. And today we're gonna be doing a workout that the theme is constant tension. So we're gonna go almost to the end of the full range of motion in the movements each end. Right before you lock out or right before you bring it all the way down, you're gonna switch directions. So your muscles are going to constantly be under tension. So for that reason, they might be a little bit lighter in terms of the weights that you use. So make sure you have at least two options. We're gonna be moving and pressing and pulling the whole entire workout today in your work periods, okay? So I'll show you what we mean whenever I get started, but give me a thumbs up if you are ready. All right, let's rock right into the warm up. Hands together here, big wide stance. I want you to release left arm and then right arm, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Open chest first. And we're actually gonna start with chest in our workout today, okay? The theme of the day is all about strength. So I want you to just push weights that challenge you. There will be some burning going on. No cardio today though, so just focus on your strength. We need these type of variety workouts. Good, all right, big backward circles now with both arms. Gotta make sure we're strong so we can stay strong in our cardio workouts and all different types of workouts. But this one is just gonna be pushing strength. We've got two chest exercises and switch directions. Two for the back, two for the triceps, two for the biceps, and two for the shoulders. And then we'll do a freestyle at the end where I'll let you pick the exercise that challenged you the most and do it one more time, okay? Come on down to a plank position for me. All right, I want you to push up with your hips, roll your head back behind your shoulders, and then come back forward. Let's get a little shoulder rotation here. Forwards and back. Good job, push up and back. Still working for 30 seconds and resting for 15. Three, two, and inchworm it right back up to your feet. Walk, 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 walk. Now I want you to roll your wrists around just a little bit. We're going to start in 28 seconds with chest press, and then we'll go into chest fly. But we've got three rounds of chest press first. Okay, so I want you to grab probably your heaviest dumbbells here. And what I mean by constant tension. So when you press, you're gonna go almost to the top and then bring it down. When you bring it down, you're gonna go almost to the bottom and push it up. So as soon as you get almost to the bottom or top, you're gonna switch directions, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go, 30 seconds. Constant tension. So your dumbbell is always moving. Dumbbells are coming right outside of your chest. Almost locking out and you're almost bringing it all the way down, but not quite. There you go. You can think of it as a pulse or you can think of it as just not full range of motion. You got three, two, one, rest. And I want you to hold your dumbbells up top here, just relaxing your arms. Round number two, unless you wanna switch dumbbells and go a little heavier, then you can grab them. But we're gonna keep that tension here. And let's go again in three, two, one, bend, and here we go. There we go, so we've got three rounds just like this. Almost top, almost bottom. Keep it down around your chest. Make sure you're not up around your forehead, okay? Keep those dumbbells down here, surrounding your chest. You've got 10 seconds. Relax your hands, just press your palms towards the ceiling. There you go, starting to burn now, right? Two, one, rest, lock your arms right up here. Okay, by holding these dumbbells, you've got a little bit of shoulder work here. All right, we're almost done with this one. Round number three, let's go in five, four, three, two, one, constant tension, come on, bend. We're moving into chest fly after this. Okay, so you'll probably drop weight. Keep your wrist strong here. Feel 
feel that open. Feel the push. You've got 13, 12. Good work, good work. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Good. 15 seconds, and I want you to grab the weight that you would use for chest fly. Maybe a little lighter than normal, but the same thing. Okay, you're gonna come almost to the ground, almost to the top. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Just pulsing kind of right in this middle ground where the whole time your chest muscle is working. So if you get up top here where you're touching, you're relaxed, right? I want you to keep them about 12 inches apart. You hear me breathing, I want you to do the same. You've got four, three, two, one. Good, bring them right down here. Rest your hands for a second. If you wanna go up, you can. Okay, I want you to come about two feet apart, 18 inches, two feet apart up at the top here. So you're basically fluttering right out to the side. Two, one, let's go. Round two, out of three. Good. That's it, feel the open. You're stretching and you pull back in. Make sure you're not bending your elbows. Keep your arms nice and long. That's it, seven seconds, come on. Right around the chest. Four, three, two, one. Can you hold it halfway out right here for 15 seconds? Come with me if you can, just hold. Good, last round, we're going in five. Four, three, two, bring it up to the top, and let's go. Last round of 30 seconds, right here. Good work. Come on, keep it around your rib cage, not up by your shoulders. Surround your chest muscles. Almost there, you've got 10, nine, That's it, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Now we're coming up, moving on to the back. Okay, you're moving to your back muscles. You're not laying on your back anymore. But we're gonna go bent row pulses. Okay, so you're gonna come up left, left, right, right. Okay, and we'll go together in 12 seconds, but I want you to do two pulses and switch. One, two, switch. So there's always a dumbbell moving here, okay? Let's go in two, one, hinge it forward, flat back, pull back like you're trying to get your elbow pointing to where your glutes are. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Good. That's it, make sure you're not leaning into your dumbbells. What do I mean by that? It's easy to go here and here with your chest, okay? Two, one, rest, drop your dumbbells. Make sure this stays here, your elbow is driving back, you're not going into your hand, all right? Round number two, adjust your weights if you need to, we'll go in four. Two, one, let's go. Two and pull, or two and switch. So one dumbbell is always moving. Coming here, go about halfway down and then squeeze the shoulder blade back again. That's it, I know the bird is there. Keep your spine straight. Keep your back flat. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, you've got one last round. Can you go up and wait? If that was easy, then yes. <laughs> Go for it. Last round, we're gonna take it one, two, one, two. So you're not doing two pulses, just do one each. Ready, let's go. One dumbbell is always moving. Good, Woo, we got 12 seconds. You're right there, come on. Five, let's go, four, three, two, one, rest, good. 
now we're going for a back fly. We're gonna alternate, okay? One arm at a time, so one dumbbell, again, is always moving. You're here, as you bring it down, switch, switch. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Back towards the spine. As you lower, you lift the other side. Elbows are a little rounded, if you notice. Keep your spine in the middle. Don't twist with your dumbbell. Keep it right here. You squeeze back and back for 10 more seconds. Good. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good, now challenge you in round number two. When you come down with this arm, as you lift the other one, still keep tension here so you're not relaxed, okay? So you're back, back, back. Kind of like you're pulsing one arm at a time. Ready, round two, let's try it, here we go. There you go. Make sure that squeeze is apparent every rep. You're squeezing shoulder blade to the spine. That's it. Keep your hips straight, don't let them wiggle. Core is tight, right? You've got five, four, three, two, one, rest, and one more time. Same thing there. I hope you kind of grasped what I was going for. Okay, you're not relaxing when you get down here and your other arm is moving, okay? Keep it pulling, pulling, pulling. One more round. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Get back and back. Beautiful. Squeeze, squeeze. Elbow drives back, shoulder blades, pulls, pulls. That's it. Woo. Give me 10. Good back feeling, right? Eight, seven. Come on. Four, three, two, one. We're going down for triceps now. You're done with your back for now. You've got skull crushers. Same thing here. Constant tension. One dumbbell or two. You're back right here. Okay? Come with me in three, two, one. Let's go. So you're never stopping. You're bending, pushing, bending, pushing the whole time. Keep those elbows slanted back. You might feel a little shaking going on. That's okay. You've got just about eight seconds left. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders and rest. Good. Now, if you can go up, let's go up. All right, we've got three rounds here, so make sure you can maintain, or make sure you can do three rounds. Round two, ready? And let's go. Keep it slanted, bend, push. It's important here to make sure your wrists stay strong as well. Bend, push, almost to the top, almost to the bottom but just keeping that dumbbell moving. 10, keep the elbows lined up. Five, four, there we go. Three, two, one, rest. Oh yeah. Anybody else feel a uh, fire back here right now? <sighs> okay, one more round. Seven seconds, shake your arms out. Woo. All right, let's grab the dumbbell. Coming back up, two, one, last round, let's get it. There you go, even if it starts moving slower, that's okay. Keep it moving. It's okay if your lower back isn't flat, you're totally fine there. Woo, 15. Come on, push with me, I'm here. We're in it together. Push through the shake, you've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest, oh yeah, oh yeah, yowch. Okay, we're gonna go tricep kickbacks. Same kind of deal as your back flat, one at a time, one dumbbell is always moving. Okay, so you're here, here. All right, I'll give you 15 seconds, shake your arms out, grab the dumbbells you wanna start with. Notice my hinge position, so I'm not straight up. Back is flat, hips are back, pull those elbows up right here. Let's go in three, two, one, come on, let's go. Push. 
Try to keep the dumbbells back from your legs behind you. Okay, so if you get too far up here, you can start to just do a swing where my muscle isn't really contracting all the way, okay? Squeeze back, squeeze back. That's it. Pinky's high back there, right? You got six, five, two, one, rest. Shake it out. Can you go heavier? If the answer is maybe, try it. Even if you have to drop down halfway through that set, it's okay. Try the heavier weights. Okay, round number two, let's go in three, two, hinge, elbows up, push. Here we go. Good, spend as much time with one arm straight as you can. Straight, straight, straight. Lock it out, that's your triceps job, to straighten or lock your elbow out. The bicep is the opposite muscle, it's antagonist. Bicep, is, its job is to flex the elbow or bend it. Your tricep is always trying to straighten it. Push, push, push. There we go, come on. You've got 10, nine, four, three, two, one rest, and one more time through. Can you go heavier? Woo. Last round, and then we hit the biceps. You're doing great. Here we go, five, four, three, two, elbows up, one, let's go. Push, push. Try not to let the dumbbells release swinging on the way down. You're controlling that bend. It's okay if you're shaking, you can do this. Push through that shake, dig your heels down hard, pull your core in tight, get those pinkies high. Let's go, nine, eight, seven, Push the pinkies up, up, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, Woo. okay, 30 seconds rest. Grab some water, your next move is just a regular bicep curl pulse again. And I hesitate to call it pulse, because to me that indicates just a very small range of motion. We're almost going to the full range of motion here in this workout today, but just not all the way. Okay, so you're not relaxed ever here or here. All right, let's go in two, one, regular curls. You come almost all the way up or down. So there's never a point where you're relaxed in this rep. Okay, you'll notice if you get to the top here, that's relaxed. Keep it bent the whole time. You've got eight. Here you go, tall spine, tight core. Three, two, one, rest. Can you push those dumbbells to a heavier weight? If yes, let's go. If you wanna stay right there, elbows feel good, you feel like you're in good control and you're getting a good challenge, stay right there. Okay, round two, let's go together in two, one, here we go. Almost all the way, almost all the way. Just about 90% of your range of motion. Keep your wrist strong. Good job, give me 10 more really great seconds. Nine, eight. Three, two, one, rest. Woo, yowchies. Okay, one more round. Same thing, also I wanna note, make sure your wrists aren't relaxed. Keep them here, even flexed here a little bit, okay? Go again in three. Last round of your regular curls. Ready? Let's go. Whew. Feel the shake a little bit. It's okay, embrace it. Tight core, don't swivel your hips. Keep bending. 10 more seconds, I know, come on. Two, one, rest. Ah, great job, come on down to your knees. We're going hammer curls. Woo, just like your bent rows, we're going one at a time. So curl, curl. All right, squeeze the glutes, hips are forward. Two, one, 
Let's go. Curl. One dumbbell's moving the whole time. Whew. I know I'm making weird noises. Sorry. I'm in it with you. I feel this burn just as much as you do, I promise. You've got eight, seven. Constant tension. Two, one, rest. All right, biceps, probably tired. If you felt like you got almost to the end of that one and you couldn't complete a rep, go down, it's okay. Okay, let's get to the last couple reps and feel like we're really pushing ourselves here. Two, one, let's go. You're pushing yourself, but also you make sure you can complete the reps. Another way to intensify this is slow it down. Keep the dumbbells in midair a little bit longer. Keep your glutes tight so you're not sitting backwards. You've got 10. Four, three, come on, two, one, rest. One more round. I know I'm making the weirdest noises today, sorry. Last one. Last set of hammer curls. Let's alternate again. Push yourself, okay? Complete these reps. Keep the dumbbells in the air as long as possible. Ready, let's go. Almost done with the biceps here. That's it. One dumbbell is moving, if not two, at all times. Whew, 12, 11, 10 seconds, come on. That's it, elbows are right there. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job. 30 seconds rest. We're done with the biceps for now. Ouch. And we're gonna move to two shoulder exercises, okay? Shoulder press is number one. Lateral raise is number two. Grab some water really quick. Whew, okay. Same thing on the shoulder press. You're not all the way up, you're not all the way down. You're living right here. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Good job. Make sure your elbows are not pushed out in front of your um, wrists like this. Keep them right underneath, they're stacked. Good. Eight more seconds, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Two more rounds of that. Make sure this one is controlled, okay? If you start to get too heavy and your back starts to arch, you can put your lower back at risk for just some tightness that you don't need, okay? Keep it up top here, keep your core tight. Let's go in two, one. You're living almost top, almost bottom. Even pull your elbows in about 45 degrees here. Keep those shoulders pushing. Lower, slow. Push, push, push. Come on, 15, 14, 13. Let's go. Great job. You've got six, five, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. Okay, one more round here. And then we're going to your lateral raises. Great job. Last time. Can you go up? You wanna stay right here? Let's go, push hard whatever you're doing. Two, one, let's get it. Whew. Tight core. If your legs are right beside each other, make sure your knees are a little bent so your core is tight. Woo, 10, nine. You've got five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I got all the weird uh, exclamations today. Going out to the sides, right here. Okay, one arm at a time. Let's go in four. Start with the left, two, one. You're here, here. Don't let the dumbbell touch your leg. Come right to shoulder height and you're right back down. You don't need to go any higher. Keep your shoulders depressed. 
So make sure you're not lifting here first. Keep them down. You're going out and away. Six. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo. So what I mean by out and away is make sure you're not going here first and then trying to lift and get under it, okay? You're pushing out away from your body and lifting, okay? Away and lift. Elbows are softly bent. Round two, let's go. Great work. My shoulders feel exactly like yours right now. I know how you're feeling, but I know we can get through this. Be thinking right now, put yourself in that place where you're done with the workout. How sweet is that gonna feel? Right, we're right there, we're super close. You've got six, five, Come on, two, one, rest. And we've got one more round and then you're gonna hop into your freestyle, three rounds of 30. Whatever move today that you wanna try again, you're gonna have the opportunity to try that. Last round here. In three, two, one, let's lift, here we go. Whatever one, I challenge you to do the one that was toughest for you, okay? Or whatever you wanna see development in. If you're looking for biceps work, Head back to the biceps. You're really looking to tone up the back of your arms. Head back to those skull crushers. You've got 13, 12. Nine, eight, seven. Come on, we're right there. Keep going for four, three, two, one, rest. Quick reminder, you had a chest press. You had a chest fly, both of those on the floor. You had a bent row and you had a back fly. Okay, you had a tricep skull crusher on the floor. You had kickbacks. Okay, you had bicep curls. You had hammer curls. And then our two shoulder exercises. So eight seconds, you pick which one do you wanna do again? I'm gonna go on the ground for those skull crushers. Come with me if you're ready. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Freestyle three rounds. Keep that tension, do not lock out at either end. You're going almost to the top almost to the bottom. Work your hardest, let's go. And I want you to stay with the same exercise for three rounds so you get that same feeling. Pushing through exhaustion, recruiting as many muscle fibers as you can. Six, five, three, two, one, rest for 15. Adjust weights if you need to, we're staying with the same exercise. Two more rounds of it, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Constant tension, remember? Elbows are just softly bent the whole time, okay? Whatever move you're doing, triceps, chest, biceps, shoulders or back, your elbows are just almost locked out, but not quite. You got six, five, Come on, two, one, good. One more round of this one. Can you go up? Can you last the whole 30 seconds without stopping? Challenge yourself, push yourself to push through the bird. Let's go in five. Get ready, three, two, one. Your best 30 right here, let's go. Push or pull through the burn. Come on, keep the tension. Don't relax yet. You're over halfway there. You've got 14. Come on. Embrace the shake. Let it happen. You've got nine, eight. Go, 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 go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! <laughs> All right, if you've got noodle arms, slightly raise your hand, because I know it's hard to <laughs> raise it all the way. Amazing job. We finished your upper body strength workout. Let's cool it down just a little bit first by lifting your hands up overhead. Okay, rest your hands on your head and just lean open so you feel a stretch right here. Okay, lean over to the right for me like you're trying to push your elbow over to the right side. And switch. Good work. And straighten those arms. Let's do the same thing. Pull, grab that top arm and pull over. And switch. 
Good, all right, bring your hands to the front. Let's cross them over. Whew, I hope you feel amazing right now. This one was all about strength. So I'm sure you were breathing heavy at some point. You're stomping your feet, that's what I normally do. I'll start tapping my toes like this. Whatever it was, I hope you pushed your hardest. Pull your right wrist or your right fingers back to your wrist here, back to your elbow. Let's stretch out the forearms right here. Whew. So I hope you feel amazing right now. Whatever area of your upper body that you're focusing on in that last 30, three rounds of 30, I hope you pushed it your hardest. Whew. Let your muscles recover. Make sure today, right after this, you start getting your fuel in to replenish the muscles of the nutrients that they need to repair. Give me some wrist circles right here. Lots of water, okay? Make sure you are hydrating. Make sure you're sleeping. Here we go, switch directions. Pull it in towards your chest. Good. There you go. All right, grab your hands here. Lock your fingertips together and push your palms to the floor. As you bend forward, arch your back up, kind of like a cat back. Release those shoulder blades out to the side. Good. Keep holding onto your fingertips. Let's shift side to side. Keep stretching those shoulder blades away from your spine. I know the clock just rolled out. By the way, I hope you guys like that new clock. <sighs> Try, come right back up. Clasp your hands together right behind your back. Shove down as you open your chest up and open your mind up to all the ways that you could improve or make the changes today to make yourself feel amazing, okay? Open your mind up to possibilities of maybe something is scary, maybe it's not something that you feel like you have the energy to do, maybe it's not something that's convenient or easy for you, but open your mind up just like we just opened our chest up. Open your mind up to all the possibilities that you could take advantage of today to get you closer to your goals, to get you closer to a promotion, to get you closer to a friend, to get you closer to that next date, to get you closer to a date night with your spouse, to get you closer to your fitness goals, your health goals, whatever it is. Open your mind up. I know you're thinking of something right now. You're thinking of, normally I'm too tired to meal prep in the evening, but I'm gonna open my mind up to the fact that it is a possibility for me. A lot of people don't have these possibilities and they would crave the food that you have in your fridge or they would crave the relationships that you have in your life or they would crave the opportunity that you have at work. Open your mind up to taking advantage of those things. Take advantage of that food. Take advantage of recipe books, of Pinterest, of the fact that maybe you know how to cook. Okay, maybe you have relationships that you can go out to eat with or that you can go and watch a movie with. Maybe you're at a, a job or a place in your business where you know there's something you could do to step it up. Open your mind up to that possibility today. Scratch the fear, scratch the anxiety, scratch what could be in your way, scratch any roadblocks that you have mentally put in front of yourself step over them, scratch them, push them out to the side and step into what it takes to get to the next level of you. Maybe you wanna go further in your company. Maybe you want to advance yourself in your company. Maybe you wanna get closer to your goals, your health and fitness goals. I know we all have those goals for ourselves. Open your mind up to the possibility of what you could accomplish today if you just did it. You stepped over what you thought might be scary or you're too tired to do or you're not in the mood to do or you'll start tomorrow or you'll start Monday, do it today, okay? Comment below with what you're gonna take advantage of today, what you're gonna step into as far as possibility and opportunity. Let me know. As your trainer, it's my job to hold you accountable here and in your nutrition, in your nutrition journey, which I do in the Sydney Squad. That's where I do all of my nutrition coaching. So join me there if you're ready to step into that next level of yourself, okay? I'd love to help you out there as well. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you're done with the workout and subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends and give me a flex emoji if you can after you tell me what you're gonna step into today with your possibilities. I know you can do it, I believe in you. All right, let's crush this day, guys. Great job, see you tomorrow.